little overcast this morning. There's the gas station for the planes. There's the planes. We're gonna get off and walk around this building right here and get back on because for some reason we have to do customs to re-enter the United States to go to Alaska. Never had to do this before so apparently they left a letter in our cabin last night or yesterday and to enter in the United States we have to redo customs on the ship. We'll do it again in Japan twice and then upon leaving Japan we have to do it so that we can go to Hawaii. It's kind of a strange deal so a lot of people are confused. Alright so we're gonna head off the ship. Heather wants a hat. Alright so we just got off the ship. We're at Canada Place, the port of Vancouver. A lot of people here. These people are getting on the Princess. I'm not sure where Princess is going this trip. I think this is our ship that we just got off of. Yeah, this is a Holland America ship. You have to go down through the thing, out, and then come around the building. But yeah, apparently, whether you're staying on the ship or getting off, you have to go through customs some point today before three o'clock. This is our ship. We're just doing a little walk. You know, I know Heather will tell you that she's cold, but the weather is actually kind of nice. Yeah, she wants a hat, so we're on the search of a hat. So there's some shopping on the other side of this stuff. So we're gonna walk, take a walk. Yeah, just prior to us getting off, the ship announced they were doing a full safety drill for the next couple of hours. So there's all sorts of alarms and bells and stuff. Of course, Heather missed half that conversation, so when they announced there was a fire on board, Heather's like, there's a fire. No, there's not a fire, it's a safety drill. So. All right, yeah. So I'm sure someplace over here we can find Heather a hat. I thought there were some clothing stores in here too. Yep, she got a hat, so now she's warm. All right, so we're gonna keep walking now that we've done that shopping. We went to Snuggles. They had hats. This was $15. I don't know if it was Canadian or US, but it went on the card. So far, we've just walked around this building. Uh, there is a air or elevator um, just at the end of the building. It's out a little bit, and that takes you up and then to the shopping that's up here above us. We're just kind of cruising around to this little park area. Except Heather keeps running off and leaving me. So many tall buildings. Lots of tall buildings. Yep. There's air. Oh, this guy's landing. He's probably going to land just out of sight. Yep. Yep, just out of my sight. All right, here we go. All right, so we walked around to this little fountain here. There's a sign that says, don't drink the water, it's recycled. There's some restrooms here and a ramp back up to the street. This is our first opportunity to get back up to the main street and go back towards the ship. I sent Heather down the path because it doesn't look like we can get up. So she's coming back to let me know. Yeah, this is a nice little area. You can get to walk around the water, come up in this nice tree-lined path. There is a set of stairs, but Heather says the path continues around. So we're gonna go ahead and go around. Regretfully, all of these gates go into these apartments and they're all locked with codes. So it's like they can use the stuff, but uh, us normies can't. We walked past this thing. Those little deals on the right hand side are spinning. It's a weather vane, but when we were down on the level looking up at it, we didn't notice that it was spinning um, on its axis as well. All right, so here's a little map of what we just sort of did. So we started over here, 
came around, walked around the convention center, walked the Stanley Park, and then about probably where the sign is was where that waterfall is came up, where there's no road here, and it brought us around and next to the digital orca. So a little bit of a circle. And now we're here, which is the main street, which we'll be able to walk right back to the cruise ship. It's been pretty accessible, other than the fact that Heather hates cobblestones because they jar her head around, but not too bad. So the last time we came, we drove here to Vancouver, and because we have a full-size van, uh, this has a clearance of 7.6, um, but you can only pay for 12 hours at a time, or I think it's 12 or 24 hours, I can't remember. But it's done on an app, so you can actually pay and then pay again, and, it'll, and you can just keep adding the days to it. So um, this is the Vancouver Convention Center West parking garage, uh, and the cruise ship is right next door. So if you have a larger vehicle, this is a great place to park. Um, machines are right inside. The handicap is just, let's see if I can zoom in here, where that little guy is, it's just to the right of that. And that's also where the uh, office for the garage is. So we just let them know that we were going to be here for a week and that we were pay, had paid up and they checked the system and said, yep, you're good. So we knew they wouldn't try to tow our vehicle off. That was kind of nice um, because the cruise port isn't very tall so if you have a full-size vehicle or a tall vehicle like a big truck you may not be able to get in there but this is right next door so it'll work for you and like i said there is the bow of our ship um, that little walk took us just about 50 minutes with me stopping every so often to rest my ankle but uh it's just a nice day to get off the ship for a little bit uh, we do have to be back on the ship to be four three I think it's like 2.30. So we're gonna go back to the ship and we're just gonna take it easy. Heather's health is doing really good. She's been sleeping pretty soundly the last couple of nights, probably because she was tired from the 13 hour drive. But uh, she ate a decent dinner last night and she had a little egg and omelet this morning. So she'll probably be hungry here in a couple hours anyway. All right, so now we had to go back into the terminal go through customs, get on the ship, and then we won't be allowed off anymore. All right, so we did a little hour walk, and now we went through customs, we're back on the ship, and got a little pasta here to have a snack on while we wait for lunch. Heather and I have been sharing this, and she just rolled off to get herself a cup of coffee. So, yeah. My ankle is still screaming, so hopefully a couple of days at sea. Well, I think we have one day at sea, and then we're in Alaska. So hopefully maybe I can let it rest for a couple of days. I can find a nice quiet corner or even get in the pool. We'll see. 